a uh, few people have come out and said you're getting a bit too cocky you're into yourselves <laughs> talking about the the GF loss and 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 jumping all over fucking tarps that was <laughs> so yeah you can see that from from either side but seems like you're having fun and yeah even taking the piss out of it with the handshake gate I thought was a nice <laughs> touch <laughs> yeah it's um it's one of those things you know at the end of the day negative stories you know always seem to sell and um you know I think it blew up after the critter thing with uh, tough and you know looking back on a critter probably Think you know, it probably wasn't the right thing to do. Okay, welcome back to the Scope Podcast. The Panthers, chocolate soldiers, I like to call the boys. Do you know? Do you know the reference to when I call you the chocolate soldiers yeah, from back uh, in the day? Yeah, the yeah. Jersey, yeah, yeah, the old jersey. So sometimes I've wrote that before, and then like I don't get a response, and I'm like, oh, the boys aren't feeling the chocolate soldiers, eh? But uh, thanks for having us in your house, Nath. Ty, Ty, you live here as well. Not yeah. a bad little spot in uh, Lena, eh? Yeah, no, it's good. It's a bit private, you know, a bit away from everything, but still pretty close to Penrith and training. So. Yeah, fuck, I probably shouldn't here. have said Leon. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, right. Yeah, we'll cut that out, we'll cut that out. Um, but yeah, thanks for having us in, boys. Uh, we'll, we'll get straight into it. Uh, I, I asked for some questions last night, and we're going to end with a question from the fans, but I thought we'd open one uh, with one. Uh, one of our mates, Desi Nichols, this is to you, T, mate. Yeah. He goes, would you rather the Packers win the Super Bowl or win the grand at the league's here? <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. Uh, <laughs> that think, is a tough one. I think Desi knows me well, so... Yeah. Uh, I think I've already seen the Packers win a Super Bowl, so I'm going to have to go with the grand jack all day. Yeah, like, talks about the grand all the yeah. time. Oh, so I've, never, I've never won the grand, and I think once I win the grand, I'll, I'll finally retire. Yeah, Normie, Normie won the grand at uh, yeah. Coogee Bay, fucking, and, and shout, like, looked after the boys and... I was, I was sitting, because I'm not a big pokies guy myself, mm. but I was sitting on the other side of the pokey room just like watching my horses and I ended up getting a winner up. Well, I had a hundred bucks on something that paid like fives or something. So I won 500 bucks. I'm going, yeah. And then all, all of a sudden you hear all the commotion from the other room <laughs> and you hear Normie just going, ah, ah. <laughs> so fuck, I, you know, mm. I'm a big Packers fan as well. We're getting some NFL stuff to kick off. Yep. Uh, but yeah, winning that ground will probably be up for, for me. Nath, we've, we've had you in before. You come in at the end of the season. Last year we are talking about Philly. Uh, 76 is an all Eagles stuff. The draft's on Friday, bro. Sitting at number 12. Who are the Eagles going to fuck up at number 12? <laughs> well, I'm waiting for, waiting for the fuck up. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I'd love to see Devontae Smith fall down there. Mm. But you know, I think that's probably. I think he might, man. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I'd love to see him yeah, go to Philly. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. They're pretty good at just choosing something out of the blue and just being a nobody. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure if they'll go offense, defense, but I'd love to see Devontae Smith. Yeah, they've got a lot of needs. Obviously, uh, Carson Wentz moves on. You weren't all, you weren't all that happy with it when I was messaging you in the inbox. Yeah, pretty off that. But um, yeah, you know, he's one of those people that will probably go to the Colts now and and kill it. Yeah, but, you know, I'll, I'm with Jalen Hurts now, so uh, we'll see how he goes. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I reckon. Yeah, you I reckon your big chance of either get. I think there's been hype around that Waddle now too yeah, to yeah. to be going yeah. above Devontae Smith. Uh, they, I think they like a few DBs as well. So if that Patrick Sertain and, and Horn can fall to him. Yeah, I think I, I'm big on Farley, man. I'm yeah, big on this guy, Caleb yeah. Farley, who was sat last year. Yeah, but he's a beast. But yeah, I reckon if yeah, Sertain or um, Devontae Smith, I'd be happy with all those. Yeah, Grouse, a couple of Alabama boys. What about us, bro? We're Packers. Well, they're far down the list. I don't even know who. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, even when you get to that. Um, but fuck, we did... If, if the Eagles have fucked it up in the last couple of years, I reckon we, we have proper fucked it up yeah. last year by drafting Jordan Love. Mm. What do you think? Is, is there anyone that you, you're hoping slips to us, like around that, that 15 range that you think we might be able to get? Obviously, uh, receiver and yeah, shit again I'd for us. I'd have a wide receiver, well, but they haven't picked their offensive player. Well, the first one was Jordan Love since A-Rod. Yeah. I think the last one was a guard, so yeah. we keep picking defence and I kind of don't get it. You know, We want to build around A-Rod and he's only got really one weapon out there Want to add him? Yeah, he's a proper gun. Yeah, yeah. I think he just that needs, Tonyan started to come on more. nicely yeah. for us last year. Yeah, tight end, but I think we just need one more, one more weapon. How long you been Packers for? Well, since I could remember. Yeah, the, the first jersey I ever seen, my old man had a Brett Favre jersey. So oh, I think that's, just, that's just how I started going for him. <clears throat> yeah, I just look, never really uh, chose any other NFL club. Yeah, it's quite an iconic team, eh? Yeah. Like it's, it's one of those teams when you jump on. And also, because of Brett Favre and Rodgers, they've yeah. been that good. So if you sort of grew up with an inkling of fucking being a Packers fan, you've pretty much held on to it because we've been successful yeah. so long. Been killing it. Um, all right, boys, uh, to start off, a little NFL chat, but we'll get into some footy stuff as well. I uh, always like to start off the, the pods with the Gratefuls, as you know, seeing the um, 
The Dalai Lama there at the front. <laughs> great for a minute. Hey, so you've been on it for a minute. How, how long he's been living in here for, and how long is that grateful been out there for? Because it's it must be paying off. I'm, I reckon eighteen months, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. been a while. Yeah, halfway through last year. Uh, yeah, any, anything you're grateful for today, boys? Oh, I'm grateful. Usually, this is a you know pretty standard one, but grateful for my family. Yeah. Um, obviously, very lucky. You got a pretty close family. You got two younger sisters and a younger brother. Um, parents have stayed together, so yeah, great. Always grateful for them. They're supportive through everything. So. Oh, I was going to go that, but I'll just go. I'm grateful for the house. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is a good house. Yeah, well, <laughs> show me a little bar downstairs <laughs> too. <laughs> Pretty cool house and that. And um, yeah, I guess I used to live in a, in a house. I say so <laughs> I'm yeah. here now. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that too. The uh, the humble upbringings from you know we grew up not too far away from each other. Um, I'd be grateful for an invite to the, down to that bar too one time, boys. So, yeah, yeah, but that's not my grateful. And this is another bit of a giggle too. I'm still grateful for uh, the Bush of Doom that we had for New Year's when I ran into you boys. But I'm not grateful for the Bush of Doom because I've used that too much. I'm grateful for the, the hugs that I had, had had with you two guys that night and realised, fuck, this is how halfbacks are and five eights are now these days. And that I'm retired because uh, they don't make them like they used to. So, um, fuck, but how good was that, eh? New Year's uh, good night up there. That was crazy, man. Yeah, we, know, just, right. we just yeah. started walking or we just found out. Did you like, find it randomly as well? No, like someone said there was something going on down there and we just followed them and ended yeah, up at this thing and started like seeing people everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I got a message years. saying just like, come here, just send the location. We're just walking down the beach for like something going on then dipped into the bushes yeah. then just all opened up. Yeah. Seeing you just tearing over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping. I've got head noise from <laughs> I'm going throwing out the Western <laughs> City to you boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm screaming it out but I had anxiety oh, and doom they the last couple of days. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, right. from the that was crazy, eh? Oh, but um, fun as. did you spend much time up in Byron all around that time? We up the hell no, long we up there the, for? We're yeah. up there for two nights. Mm. Yeah, same here. It was like a last minute thing um, when the new restrictions came in down here. Like, oh, we'll want to get out yeah, of here. Yeah, we'll dip. Yeah, everyone was trying to get up there as much yeah. as they could. Yeah, so like, we'll I had four trips up there. <laughs> it's fucking good time. I'm right, looking forward try, to yeah. trying something else this yeah. year, though. That'd be nice. Yeah, uh, overseas or something. Yeah. yeah. All right, boys. So let's get into the footy uh, side of it. Uh, when I spoke to you, Nate, last time I talked about how, how you're going to prepare for the season. Uh, I've been in that position before where I've lost a grand final, and yeah, some teams tend to have a bit of a, gra- a grand final hangover. Not for you, boys. Uh, perfect record to start the season. Um, you know, how did you address it? Address it now. It was sort of been a, a, obviously a, a leading figure in the team for a while now, but a, a lot of the old heads have moved on. Yeah, I think it's just trying to, you know, I think we've found our own identity and just trying to, you know, live by that. Um, you know, I think the main thing of what we do is every every week, no matter the result on the weekend, we come in on Monday to train and try and get better. And you know, it's credit to you know everyone on the team. Everyone comes in, and works really hard, but you know, everyone has fun with it as well, which makes it ch- such an enjoyable place and. I think that's part of the reason why we've had the start we had this year is, you know, everyone's, um, you know, just wants to get better and, and have fun. And once we get on the field, um, you know, it's where you grow up. You love playing footy and, you know, we get out there and just, yeah, just play footy. So. One of the things, and I, and I mentioned about your uh, versatility coming off the bench from uh, Tyron, um, like with a few of the older boys moving on, I thought you were going to struggle a little bit depth-wise, but it seems like, this year in particular, like even though you've had a couple of people that have missed games, nice missed games, you seem to just be able to move probably the top 19 and 20 just around in different spots. Um, is that something that you pro- obviously pride yourself on and, and the team pride themselves on? Yeah, I think uh, it's always been a um, thing for Penrith. Like, um, we have heaps of gun juniors coming through and whoever gets the opportunity to step in the role, Bird, Birdo's done it, like Mitch Kenny's been killing it. Like, yep. They just step up and do, do the job required, I think. Over the last couple of years, that's just um, been the mentality of the, the next man up. Like, you just go in there, do your job, no complaints, and whoever's playing, you go out there to win. Yeah, for sure. And talking about <clears throat> sort of the culture that you've been building, uh, a few people have come out and said, you're getting a bit too cocky, you're into yourselves. <laughs> talking about the, the GF yeah. loss and, and, and jumping all over fucking tarps. That was, <laughs> so, you know, you can see that from, from either side, but seems like you're having fun and, yeah, even taking the piss out of it, the handshake gate, I thought was a nice <laughs> touch. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things, you know, at the end of the day, negative stories, you know, always seem to sell. And, um, you know, I, I think it blew up after the critter thing with uh, Tarpane and, you know, looking back on it, critter probably think you know probably wasn't the right thing to do but you know the, again at the end of the day it's, it's a game of footy and um, especially always when we verse teams like Canberra there's always a bit more in it and you know a bit of, bit of niggle stuff like that yeah but, 
you know, they're the games that you Because like Tops to likes to give it to, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, you know like what I mean? So this is like, right, and there's, like, there's no problem with that. I reckon, yeah. like, uh, we always enjoy playing mm. games like that where there's a bit more feeling. And, um, you know, sometimes it goes a bit over the top. But, you know, I think, um, I think our group's always pretty respectful yeah. uh, on and off the field. And we kind of pride ourselves on that. And, you know, it's just one of those things. Yeah, you can't, like, Ty, you can't, like, that's the energy yeah. that you fucking have all, all that other stuff. That's why you fucking, you, you generally start pretty well. you got that, you keep that energy for, I mean, you've been able to play in a lot of games where it's gone back and forth, but, like, when you just keep that energy, it seems like it keeps you, keep you all going. Yeah, I don't really get it, like, all the criticism about us being arrogant and stuff. Like, it's, it's pretty funny because, like, we know within our own, like, our own group, like, we're pretty humble, respectful guys, but I guess the way... We're seeing we're just we're just having fun out there like yeah. it's a bit of a laugh and i mean if you come to training and see us verse each other then <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty rude bro, that's 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 like, the boys start spraying <laughs> each other heavy so yeah we don't really we don't even give it half as much as what we do out there to each other so yeah i think it's um we're just out there having fun and people see it the way they do but um we don't really mind yeah it's funny you said that too because i was talking to someone um, about like my uh, my best years before at Manly, like our left first right edge stuff that we did on captains run sometimes, right? Like just before it was so fucking chirpy <laughs> and like aggressive that when yeah. I when we when we got to games, man, I was like, fuck, this is kiddies out here now <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. compared to what we used to. Yeah, like, let's just go gang up on the other things, so yeah. gang up on each other. Yeah, like, come on, <laughs> but, yeah. yeah well, brings out, it's obviously bring out the best, and I think Finchy said it best. Finchy said like. If people are over it, then just stop you. Like, yeah. if you want to stop them fucking chirping, then then beat them. Like, beat them, and and that and that'll stop it. Um, uh, I talked a little bit about your role, uh, Ty. You're off. You're off contract at the end of the year. I sort of highlighted it last year when we we're talking about, in particular, in the grant in the GF, where I, thought, I felt like you sort of swung momentum back when you went back in the middle, started in the centres. That 14 role, and Nathan, you can probably attest to this too, is becoming so important in the modern day game with your versatility. Like like you said before, do you have a pref- preferred position? And like, do you sometimes, the guy that I played with, Jimmy Bure, I felt like he was a, a victim of his versatility at, at times because like Jimmy, Jimmy Bure was a gun, but he was such a good 14 that he played 14 so much. Do you, do you feel that early on, or where do you, you want to play eventually long term? Oh. Uh, I've always been like um, I grew up coming as a halfback. Yeah. So I was, I was number seven. And you I used to play together in the halves growing up in the SG Ball in twenties nah, and shit. No, nah. So I was a halfback, and then um, I was playing a bit of five eight because I was a bit tall. And then he he come in the year of SG Ball, and then um, pretty much kicked me out of the halves. So <laughs> I went I went and played fullback that year. Oh yeah. And then yeah, like I I, I used to love playing fullback, and then um, Ciro kind of ruined my dreams there, and. Kicked me out of fullback and I started <laughs> playing a bit of lock. So I, was, I don't know, I've just always bounced around positions and I've never really um, hated it. I, I like it. It's pretty cool. You get to yeah. bounce around and play wherever, you get put wherever, and there's always a spot for it. So Yeah. Um, Especially more so. Yeah. I so I, I think I like playing 5 8, but we got we got so many 5 8s. So we've got Birdo who can play there. We've got <sighs> Romy. Like, yeah. If it happens, it happens. But if not, I'm, ha- I'm happy to play 14. Yeah, Grouse. And you, and you played a little bit of fullback. I. Um, one thing I wanted to highlight too, we got big uh, Viliami Kikau on that try, uh, try saver against Melbourne. Um, people were sleeping on you fucking with that initial contact bar on, the, on uh, Justin Olam and I was trying to like push it because everyone's going kick out because after he did the flop of doom too when he, <laughs> he's doing these ones and then he realised he wasn't going to get the penalty yeah. so then he gets up and comes and saves it but um, chucking, you, chucking your body in, in front of uh, Olam was a massive play man and a big big win for you guys obviously in that, in that game, Nath. Yeah. Um, you missed it. They, Melbourne had a few out, but you must have been obviously proud of the boys, the efforts Ty put in and uh, and getting the, the dub against Melbourne. Right, hundred percent. That was like that was just a crazy game. It was such a good game to watch. I felt like I was just a fan again. I was that nervous up in the box, jumping around. Dad was probably off me because I was just screaming and shit. But yeah, even you know, teammate going in second half playing fullback. He's Hasn't even trained a fullback for years. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Serrano was right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he came up with uh, the big tackle on Munster as well. We broke the line. Yep. And then obviously the first contact on, on Olam, who's, you know, impossible to stop near the line usually. So, um, you know, I think that's another thing about our team, as t- I think Timo mentioned it before. But, you know, anyone that gets put in just knows their just role and just has to do a job and always has a team first mentality. So, yeah, yeah that was a really good win. Yeah, speaking of just a little bit, I didn't, I wasn't um, going to mention this, but we're talking about the versatility as well. Like, 
when I was looking at the team and how well it was going, I was like, man, as good as Dylan Edwards has gone in the last couple of years, I was like, bro, that's going to be hard to break back into that team now. Like, it's one of those things, it's almost um, harder to make the team. And then once, you, once you're in there, like, you, you look at it and go, fuck, yeah. you don't want to miss a game just in case you don't fucking yeah. get back in the team. Yeah. It's hard to change yeah. winning formula, I guess, yeah. but... Well, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. We're not the coach, so I guess yeah. we're, we're lucky we're not in that position. Yeah. yeah, I think one just on like deal, but I think he's like so undervalued. He like, is, on, yeah. From the outside Big time. In, I rate him highly, but within, I'm just saying how yeah. good you are going. Yeah, within yeah. our team, like yeah. everyone rates him like super highly. And, yeah. But yeah, it's one of those, as you said, you, you don't want to miss a game because then you're like, oh, I'm going to spot back because yeah. whoever goes in has yeah. been going really well. Yeah, and uh, there'll be some other spots, some coaching decisions as well. Fuck, how many of you make the Blues, man? Like, I've seen Freddie's come out on uh, Freddie in the 8th and talked about uh, the combinations and how important that is has been in, in big games. A few guys up for up for grabs. You'd obviously like to see a few, a few of your teammates make the team, but do um, you think you've got to, you, you could come up with, like, a number? I don't want to put you on the spot, obviously, with, like, who, does, who to be selected. I know that's a tough question, but you'd like to obviously see he, heaps of your boys play with you? Yeah, for sure. It'd be, it'd be awesome. I think it'd be massive for... Um, you know, people like Romy and Bizzer and stuff like that, just for them and their families. Yep. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, it'd be cool to have as many Panthers boys in there as possible. But you know, it's up to Freddie. And but uh, yeah, there's definitely a few boys knocking the door down at the moment. Yeah, yeah, hard, hard not to pick them. Yeah, I think um, in particular, like you and Isaiah, like obviously Locks. Um, that that six position is that big one. That's the yeah. that's the talking point. Brian keeps fucking. He's running all the way to fucking league, eh? <laughs> so <laughs> he's, not so he's a chance. I, I did my team the other day, and I, just because Turbo comes back, I think maybe with a guy like Brian in particular, I think, uh, you know, Freddie's about sort of blood in those guys, bringing him like he did with Romy and, and, and Steve last year, where he gives him the opportunity, opportunity to come into camp. But um, it's like Penrith, man. It's a, it's a good, it's a good uh, pickle to be having for a coach coming into it. It was, it was e- like easy yeah. as for me to pick the fucking Queensland team. There's probably like two guys that – Positions that I that I struggle with, but um, yeah, for, even Birdo is going to be floating around yeah, the tires. Well, even yeah, he's yeah. knocking the door down now. So um, yeah, it'd be tough to pick it, but yeah, hopefully, you can get a few in there. Rolling into Origin, potentially missing a fair few uh, players. Do you think um, your dad will look at uh, like the rest period in that and making sure you're primed, or are you like with the perfect season? We do you, like we're, we're NFL fans too, and going yeah. through and and looking at, at Jacko. At uh, YKTR has said that you you are going to go undefeated, so he's put the mock on you. So that's definitely not going to happen, <laughs> no, boys. Thanks, thanks. Uh, but, <laughs> thanks for that, Jay. Um, I know it's a bit early to be thinking about that, but do you think you'll take that in consideration? You dad, we taking that in consideration to come coming around like the origin period? Yeah, I think so. I think it's something they can always uh, look into, and you know, I think um, this year is obviously different to the last year, and you know, it ends up being a really long year, especially if you um, get a couple of origin games, and obviously I think there's 25 rounds. So, um, but you know, I think. I kind of touched on it last year. Like we were at the stage where you just you wanted to play every week because um, yeah. you know you're having fun and you're just enjoying playing footy. And um, you know you can probably get rest periods through training and that, having a few days off training and yep. and whatnot. And um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd always yeah. rather play than than watch. So. And you're a young team. Like I think you're the youngest team on paper when, with you starting 13 or, or yeah. 17, aren't you, bro? So yeah. like, there, it's like you don't have the wear and tear that some of the other teams would have. Yeah, no, we're pretty lucky. We've got a young squad, even young boys like our training and stuff. We've got like 18, 19 year olds just doing crazy things, playing cup, and they're killing it. So, yeah, is your cup team killing it as well? Are they? Yeah, they've gone undefeated as well. So, oh, uh, can't yeah. hell. No, it ain't stopping. They're killing it. So, they're, they're kicking down the door of, yeah. of us too. Like, they're pushing for spots themselves. But, so we've got to keep like doing our job because they're, they're, they're putting us on notice. Yeah, that's the grouse. All right, boys. Well, just like I said, it was only going to be a quick little five when we come and do these things. Uh, we always like to, we've got a couple to finish off a bit of a giggle. Nathan, I know you've got a sister too, so this is, uh, it's always good when the boys have got sisters for this. Uh, uh, Todd, do you have a sister as yeah, well? Yeah, you. grouse. All right, so both got sisters. So you can have maybe a sister for each question. Um, out of your team, who in the team would you not let date your sister and why? <laughs> You've seen it up? Yeah, I, yeah. That's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Living with him for the last couple of years, oh, just, yeah. oh, just can't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shot. <sure. laughs> I'd have to go Mardo, not because of like anything bad. He just like he's a dirty, dirty human. Like, well, hygiene just, wise, hygiene, bro. Yeah. Like, he's always got like warts. Like yeah, he looks like he looks bro, like that. Yeah. Top. Yeah. I, just, I just where's like, he from? Where's Mardo from? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, like, I just like I would not like want my sister be around that, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's a gr- oh, yeah. dirty, dirty man. That's that's big. Yeah, that's that's always quite a common one as well. You don't want 
Yeah, he just, just reeks on that lot. <laughs> <Yeah>, just, <laughs> <laughs> just All right, is there is there a player in the team you would let you date your sister and and, and why? Uh, mine would. It's probably a toss up between yeah, uh, Dill Edwards or Scotty Sorensen. Yeah, uh, they're probably the two of the well, nicest he's, guys I've ever met. Uh, Scotty Sorensen's pretty he's good. A snack yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, he's a snack too. He's undercover yeah. like a snack. Yeah. Like he's yeah, he's up there. So it'd probably be a toss up between them two. When we did the Bloater C team with uh, Kempy, people were going, you're sleeping on Scotty Sorensen. Yeah, like, I, I probably didn't realise until so, yeah, he yeah. got to the team and you see him in he's the gym, tank. he's got yeah. muscles everywhere. And I think he's still, does he still live out at Cronulla or has he moved close yeah, to no, New York? Yeah, no, yeah. No. seen him on the beach one day and I said, yeah, we did fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was pushing for him to get in. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ty? Um, I've got uh, probably like three there. Yoey. Yeah. Just because real, real genuine guy. Yeah, he's a good lad. So, yeah. He spent some time in the house with mum and dad when they were on the Penrith house. Izo, like loyal dude. Yeah. Mad and then Mitch Kenny, just because he's like mad to have a beer with, like he'll be like mad bro in law and that. Yeah, yeah. Get, like, that um, that thing stuff. that he did at the start of the year yeah. after the trials is fucking a proper giggle. Like, just just mad personality, standing. like down to earth guy, and yeah, you can like you can go out with him and have the maddest time and that. So I'll probably a toss up between them three. Some some good lads yeah. in your team. Generally, the boys are struggling to find someone to date their sister. These <laughs> no, 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 boys are tossing up. These boys are tossing up about three or four each. You see some of the other people in Penrith, and you're like, I'd probably rather my sister. There's not much getting around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sydney yeah, baby. Yeah, I know. I know all about that. They, uh, me and Ty were talking about growing up uh, close to each other out west, and um, got mad love for everyone out west, but. Yeah, some yeah, of them. You just told us you were repping the crew. <laughs> 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 so, I don't know, you chop and change me. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. Uh, and then there was one good little question uh, in at the end. He's very grateful too. His name is a Flynn underscore Fisher 30. And he asked, all right, so um, out of the YKTR boys in their prime, who would you insert into the Panthers team right now? So, hey, just... It doesn't have to be me, boys, but I'll give you the five, I'll give you the five options. There's me, Normie, uh, Ice, Chico, who's uh, both ex-Panthers, and I know like it didn't work out with Ice here, so we'll take that in consideration. <laughs> <laughs> and let's chuck Simi in for a giggle. Yeah. Well, uh, Simi's, Simi's career is uh, uh, two games in the last two years, uh, one broken leg, so um, <laughs> who, would you, who, would you, who would you have, boys? Oh, you, you go first, Nath. Oh, yeah, that's a tough one, eh? That's it is a tough one, yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably bring in Chico, I reckon. Yeah. In his prime, he was, he was a beast. You know? Bray did his best best yeah. work at Penrith. Yeah, too. Just, just his injection off the bench and stuff like that. Energy, can throw hands as well. If it, if yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen, he's, I've seen he can throw hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he, I mean, yeah, the shoulder barge of doom yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, he know. Did him and Uppy play together too in the Penrith days back in the day? Like they had a good I little so, rotation. Yeah, rotation, so, yeah. so yeah. They'll, you know that they'll work well together. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'd probably go Chico. T, mate? Um... Oh, it's a tough one. I was going to say you, but I don't want to be a blow ass. <laughs> Just because, like, position wise, <laughs> yeah, like, right, yeah. all the other positions are kind of. You're right, bro. You're right. You, you sort it, you yeah. sort so it like in the half. Maybe a thick forward that can cover. Yeah, multiple back row position. I played a bit of centers in my day. Yeah, yeah back row. Like, yeah. yeah, versatile, like the pen. <laughs> good for you. Can, you can pick me if you want. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, it sounds like you're going to go me. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, cheers, bro. Old man's a gun, so. Yeah, gun. Off the field's important. Yeah, it is, bro. Yeah. I love getting. Team Kevin. I always consider myself a locker room guy. Uh, you got a young team there. I could always relate to the young guys and the older guys. So <laughs> I think I'd pick me too. <laughs> but uh, uh, good luck for the rest of the year, boys. You're killing it. Uh, Origin coming up, bro. Contract uh, end of the year too. Hope you secure that bag, boys, and uh, get, keep getting the dubs, eh? For Western Sydney. Sweet. Appreciate Thank it, you. brother. Thank you. Thank you, boys.